Let's talk about casting a Euro nymphing rig on the back cast. All the stuff that I learned about casting sort of goes out the window when you're actually not casting the fly line. That's what's going on on a Euro nymphing rig and Fred Rowe of Sierra Bright Dot kind of spelled it out for me in a little bit of detail in this video. So when we're using the Euro nymphing rod, we're not using a conventional cast aerializing it back and forward. There are times and places I use it, but 80-90% of the time I'm doing what they call a water load. So when the line gets right in front of me, I roll cast it downstream, pull all the slack out so I have no slack in the system, start moving it slightly forward against the water so that I'm getting drag coefficient against the surface. That is what's helped loading the rod and then I'm using the tip of the rod as a centrifugal force to allow me to make the cast. So one of the things that's going on here is in doing those, that in planes I have to cast 180 degrees. So the fly is way off to the left of me, the cast is going to go up to the right. If the cast is below me on the right, then the ca uh, if I'm starting the cast below me on my right, then the cast is going to go up to the left. So it takes a little bit to get used to it. It takes a little bit to realize how to load the rod up because we're not using the fly line to load the flies, but we're using the water um, and the weight of the flies to load it. And we're really only fishing the fly line, give us an extension to fight the fish. We're really only fishing the 20 to 30 feet of the leader system of the monofilament. One of the big advantages of this is uh, we're not in different currents. We just have the monofilament in. It doesn't get pushed around as much as the uh, fly line does. So we're getting a much better drag-free drift. And because we're keeping the line short, we have better tension to the flies. We can feel the hits and we sit back. Really appreciate that help from Fred Rowe. He was really instructive when we were on the Lower Owens. He is with Sierra Bright Dot. He guides on, in the Eastern Sierra on all sections of the Owens as well as Lake Crowley and other streams in the area. And he'll go through that kind of detail with you and that kind of instruction with you um, about casting and other, all other areas of Euronymphine and the various techniques that he uses. So if you want to be in, put in touch with Fred, just let us know. He's a great guide out there and somebody that I think you'd get a lot from. So just let us know and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.